with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Mariah Turner. Well, this evening we're going to see some changes in effect. Today we saw temperatures in the low 80s, upper 70s. Tomorrow we're only going to be in the upper 70s, and that dew point will be dropping. And that's pretty much due to a cold front that's pushing through. So with this cold front moving through, we're going to see high pressure settling in. We're talking about a clearing for Sunday. So Sunday is going to present us with sunny skies. Also, the humidity level taking a drop. So today we saw humidity levels in the upper 60s. Tomorrow we're going to see them in the upper 40s. So the Humidity will continue to drop overnight, and you're going to feel that as you head out tomorrow morning. Temperatures as well, they'll be dropping today again at low 80s, upper 70s. Tomorrow, only upper 70s. But in the morning, it is a chilly start. We're talking about 50s. So, in the mid to upper 50s, as you're heading out tomorrow, it is going to be a cool start to the day. You can see this cold front that made its way through today. It brought with it some showers. Those have pushed out also the cloud cover. So, we're looking at clear skies. That blanket of cloud cover isn't going to help hold in any of our temperatures. Tonight, so that's what's going to make our overnight low very, very chilly, and also our dew points dropping. So you can see the dew points that we had with uh, before this cold front. So you can see like 62 over in West Virginia, 69 down in Jackson. But behind this, that is cooler, drier Canadian air. You can see 54 the dew point in Lafayette, 52 in Chicago. So this is that air that's heading our way, going to make it a very pleasant fall-like Sunday. And we are dry right now on News 5 radar, and that will be the condition pretty much until the middle of next week. 66 degrees is where we're sitting right now at CVG. Again, that dew point in the low 60s continuing to drop as we head through our overnight. That humidity says 84%, but that's just because our dew point is relatively close to our temperature right now. Temperatures locally not looking too bad. It's looking like a nice overnight. 64 out in Mason, 63 in Springboro, 59 already in Batesville, and those temperatures continuing to drop overnight. We're looking at a chilly start to our Sunday. It's going to be lows in the mid to upper 50s. So jacket weather by the time you're heading out for church or brunch. Or breakfast, whatever you may have going on tomorrow morning. But yeah, those skies clearing, that blanket of cloud cover is not going to be there to help us stay warm overnight tonight. It's going to be chilly. So we're looking at our future cast. We are dry right now. Cloud cover, pretty much irrelevant. It's gone. And so tomorrow we're looking at plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a great day to get some outdoor activities for all the festivities that are around town, too. So tonight, again, lows in the mid to upper 50s, mostly clear and cooler. Tomorrow it'll be. Fairly cool, 78 degrees, a pleasant Sunday. Nice way to start our week as well. Here, let's break it down for you. You can see I added some fall leaves for our fall like start. Make sure you grab that pumpkin spice latte to start your Sunday. And then Monday's looking like a nice day as well with temperatures in the low 80s for highs. It's going to be a nice week. She always gets a <laughs> latte. I love it. Well, <laughs> we'll get I don't think.